We have each come up with what we think is the very best Branson vacation, and we are battling it out right after this. Hi, this is Amy with TPF Trips, Places, and Fun. And this is John, and at TPF we talk about fun and exciting, family-friendly adventures. And boy, are we going to have an adventure today. We sure are. We're going to battle it out. We're going to battle it out. So today... We have each come up with a very fun Branson weekend vacation. We have come up with activities, lodging, and food. food. Yep. And we have the prices for everything. So we are going to kind of lay out each of our scenarios that we've come up with. So this is what? Three days and two nights. Three days and two nights. So what would be a typical weekend? Maybe a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh And it includes everything. Food, activities, and lodging. I guess not travel. Not travel. Travel would be on your own. But this is including food, activities, and lodging. And y'all are going to get to decide at the end whose vacation you like better or which one you would pick. I would say which one you would pick because money is an object. So we're going to come up with, you know, we're going to tell you the price and you're going to have to decide if, you know, based on the price, based on what we had to offer, based on the food we suggested, the lodging, which vacation would you pick? And then comment down below and let us know which one you would pick so we can see who wins. And so this is a battle and I'm going to win. We're really competitive. We're very competitive. We're both firstborn. We are both firstborn. And whenever we play escape games together, there's always that competitive edge. We're supposed to be on the same team though, right? Yeah, but somehow we make it competitive. But anyway. So we're going to battle. We're going to battle. And I'm going to win. You guys get to help us decide. The best vacation package that we're going to present. Yes. Yep. We're not trying to find the cheapest or whatever. Just the best. It's like, yes, I want to do do John's vacation package. But money should be taken into account. It is a little bit. Well, as much as it matters to you. That's right. That's right. No more delay. It is time to battle. You know why I say this? You know why I say this? Because I'm the saver, you're the spender. That's right. So you could get a really amazing vacation, but it might cost five grand. That's, well, yeah, it won't. It doesn't, though. I have it. I added it all up. Oh, good for you. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to start. Yep. Go I'm for it. I can't wait to see what your amazing vacation is. Okay. Here we go. So ding, 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 ding. I'm going to start with lodging. Yeah. And I chose Stillwater's Resort. Hey, that's great. I was going to choose that also, but I didn't. Oh, okay. Well, good. We have something different. But it's a great resort. But Stillwater's Resort is a great resort. It's up there closer to Silver Dollar City. It's a little bit off the crazy Branson beaten path, but it has a lot of really cool things. It has water slides. It has basketball and volleyball courts. Now, during the summer, depending on where you go, there's going to, or when you go, I'm sorry, there's going to be more or less to do but during the summer you know they've got like some free paddle boats and free inner tubes um you know they have them like, it's on the lake yeah, right it's yeah. right there on the lake so they have mini golf there if if you show some of the footage they've got some crazy awesome pools mm-hmm. with it almost looks like you're at a water park yeah so love it yeah so that's where i chose to stay and for i just did ballpark pricing for two weeks from now like a Friday and that's Saturday what I night. Did, that's what I did too. Okay. Um, and that would be $260 total, including taxes and fees. Okay. For so that's like a Friday night and a Saturday Friday night. Friday night and Saturday night. Yeah. Very good. Yes. So of course that will vary depending on when you go and what discounts you find and that sort of thing. Oh yeah. I wanted to make that point that I didn't take into account any discounts. You may have. I don't know. We oh, didn't, you didn't. We didn't agree okay. upon that. I did take into account okay. some discounts, but I'll let you know when when I found that. So technically this was a discounted rate. It was a spring break rate or something like that, but you probably would be able to find similar rates um, at any time. So. Yep. Now let me jump in here real quick. We have so much to talk about. We should probably just do this even quicker than we are right now. (laughs) Okay. So I will make it quicker. Um, So I would say coming in Friday night Mm -hmm. on your way in to stay at the Stillwaters Resort, you could stop off for dinner and a show at Dolly Parton Stampede. Very good. Okay. And so the cost for that, I did, I was able to find an $8 per person discount. So Mm. that was taken into account. Y'all can look, pick up some of the books, the tourist books as you come into town. Always look for discounts. Um, They're online. 
Um, so anyway, with discounts, this is for two adults and two kids, not free kids, but ages like five to 12 or somewhere in there where you'd be paying the kid's price. So not a kid under free, under three that's free and not someone over 12 that it's would be exactly an adult the price. way I did it also. Okay. Yes. Make sure we're on the same page. So for two adults and two kids with a tip, make, make sure to tip your server at the stampede. Oh, by all means, always do that and tip them really, really well. So about 200 bucks. Okay. About 200 bucks. And by the way, did we tell them that we didn't compare notes? So We did not compare notes. I have so no John idea. John has no idea what I'm saying, and I don't know what he's going to say. So I don't know. Yeah. We're just flying by the seat of our pants. We sure are right here on <laughs> TPF. All right. And then, so after Dolly Parton Stampede, so that's usually a 530 show. Um, they have 8 o'clock shows, but I'm thinking 530. Mm -hmm. After that, they could do Bigfoot on the Strip. Okay. They have a family pass that's around $100, and you get to go to the 8D movie. That's super cool. 8D? 8D. There's 8Ds? I don't know how many, I don't know how you get eight dimensions in, but they do it. Wow. Yeah, 8D. And that includes mini golf. They have a really cool mini we golf should put out, We should put in a 9D ride. We should. I don't even know how you get that many dimensions. But anyway, they do it. So 8D movie ride, golf, gravity bomb, which is like this huge free... Free fall tower thing. We did that. Isn't you, that the one that I did? You did that. You did that. Yeah, it's I was terrifying. not brave enough. You did that. And then the Yeti Zone, which is like tunnels, nets, rope swings, stuff like that. Okay. So family pass there is a hundred bucks. Excellent. All right. So then Saturday, of course, I had to put in Silver Dollar City. Sure. Silver Dollar City opens March thirteenth. So I'm thinking a couple of weeks from now. They actually did have a discounted price. That is through March eighth. If you if you purchase your tickets through March eighth, everybody gets the kids price. Mm -hmm. So I took that into account. So two hundred and fifty dollars for that to go to Silver Dollar City for a day, and then how much? Two fifty. Two fifty. Counting taxes. So if the kids price is fifty eight dollars a person. Times, times four. four. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I'm with you there. Yeah, plus It seemed more expensive in my brain, which that's how vacations work, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, wow, it shouldn't cost that much, but yeah, okay. It, it seems more than you thought it would be, the price. Yeah, it did, okay. it did. Okay, so yeah, it's $58 a person times four people plus okay. tax. Um, and then $50 for lunch. I chose lunch at Crossroads Pizza there at Silver Dollar City. There, I feel like that's a great way to feed a family for a small amount. So you can buy two pizzas and some drinks, and you know, fifty dollars probably even more than you'd need there. Yeah, you could probably I get think it for so. thirty, forty bucks. Yep. So that's lunch at Crossroads Roads Pizza, and then after Silver Dollar City, it's open till six mm -hmm. on this particular day. Um, dinner at Dana's Barbecue in Branson West. Oh, I almost so, chose them. You did because it's a great place yes, to go. In fact, that is on our top ten restaurant. Yeah, yes. right up here. So if you want to click, you can look at our top sure. 10 restaurants. Don't do it yet. You have to re rewind this later because you want to watch the rest of this video yes. because it's my turn next. Yes. So Dana's Barbecue, though, is one of our top 10. So watch that video in a moment. And um, so I figured about 50 bucks for that. It's mm -hmm. not too expensive, but nope. it's super yummy. Super good. And then after dinner, you can go into town and play at Escape Code. Yeah. So play an escape room with the family. It's a great family fam family friendly adventure and speaking of adventure if you use the discount code adventure that gives you 15 percent off and so that brought it to around 100 bucks wow look at there i kind of rounded to the nearest 10 with all these prices by the way okay um and then after that after escape code hertz donuts oh i should have included hertz but i didn't hertz donuts. Well, that's so, good and oh just a little side fact i was talking to my dad recently and he said hertz donut is actually a play on words you know they have the whole ambulance theme and the big bandit Hurts, don't it? Oh. Get it? I, I didn't get it all these hurts, years. Hurts, donut. Because it actually is Hurts, donut. Yeah, Hurts, donut, not donuts. Mm -hmm. So all, right. all these years, I had no idea that that was a plan. It hurts, don't it? It, it so, hurts, don't so, it? So, yeah, I think we get, we, we, <laughs> we get so it now. So anyway, $15, I said 15 everyone bucks? in the family could get maybe. Well, you can get, get a dozen. Well, yeah, or you can get a dozen or whatever. whatever. But I Super just put good in donuts. 15 bucks all right. um, to spend there. Then Sunday, I decided to go cheap because this vacation is, you know, getting a little pricey. Mm. Silver Dollar City, Dolly Parton Stampede and whatnot. Oh, mm -hmm. So I chose the Dewey Short Visitor Center. Okay. Um, that is a super fun uh, museum slash. It's, it's right there it's on the, the lake. History of the dam and stuff like that. Table, the Table lake. Rock Lake. Yeah. So, and it's got great stuff for the kids. So that's free. Yes. 
And then also right there is the fish hatchery where you can go. Which is also free. And, yeah, also free. So I did those free things. Then headed out of town because I'm assuming you're going home at Sunday. Okay, after you do those things, head out of town, eat lunch at Sugar Leaf Bakery and Cafe. That's also on our top 10. Yes, it is. So, and that's fairly inexpensive. So I said about 30 bucks for your um, lunch for the adults and kids there. Okay. You can shop a little at the Village Shops. Yes. Because you are right there at the Grand Village Shops that's when right. you're at Sugar Leaf. Huge and, Christmas store there, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, and one of my favorite places to go at the Village Shops is the Mulberry Mill. They oh, yes. They have all yes. these amazing samples. You have to go there. Of dips. And we should do a TPF just from there one day. We should. So you can go to Sugar Leaf and eat your lunch, and you can actually go to Mulberry Mill and get your dessert just by sampling all of the amazing like dessert dips that they have. Mm-hmm. And that's actually free to do unless you want to buy Yeah. Which you it's like a will. free buffet. Yeah, but you probably will want to buy some of the amazing things you sample. But definitely check out Mulberry Mill when you're there at the Village Shops. And then the last thing that you're going to do, because it's right there, um, kind of in that area, is the Titanic Museum. And I was able oh, good to idea. find a discount to the Titanic Museum for two adults and two children for 65 bucks. Very good. So that is a great deal as well. So that... Wait, wait, whole- don't say. I'm going to guess. I'm going to okay, guess. Just gonna because guess. based on... Yeah, I'm going to guess that vacation would be around, oh, I don't know, maybe a thousand. You're very close. So $1,120. $1,120. Including everything that I said. And that Crossroads pizza was a higher mm-hmm. estimate, so you could probably do it for around eleven. Now, I got to ask a question because I wasn't, I didn't, maybe I didn't track as well. Did you include like meals Every day? I know you every, hit. I, I hit every meal. Now, I did only do two meals a day. We do oh, okay. We do have a video called How to Travel Cheap and Often, mm-hmm. where we discuss only eating two meals a yeah, day. Yeah, that's typically what we so do. So now, sometimes you may have a hotel that may have a... Um, breakfast buffet. A, breakfast, or a free breakfast. Continental or breakfast. Like that, or maybe you bring cereal bars with you or something. But we recommend only buying two meals a day to save on on your turn. All right. Is it is it my turn? It is your turn. You've been so antsy. I'm so You're ready so antsy. because okay. my package is is it's so much better than yours. Okay. But yours is good. I would enjoy that vacation if I went on that vacation with you. But mine costs more too. Yes, that's I'm why I said, that's why I said people y'all have to take money into account. He's a spender, I'm a saver. You can have an amazing vacation anywhere. For yeah, your vacation. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how much yours is. Well, it's not that. Okay, well that's good. But I'm saying you you have to factor. But the reason I'm being feisty is because this is a battle. This is a we're okay, we're okay. fighting. Okay. In, yeah. Okay. Okay. Go. All right. So here is my Branson vacation battle, lodging. Now I went up. I went up. Uh, you uh, chose uh, Big Cedar. I no, I didn't. Oh, okay. I chose a Chateau on the Lake. Oh. Chateau yeah. on the Lake, beautiful place. Yeah. And so, hundred and fifty dollars per night. So. I, uh, with tax, I'm guessing about $400, okay. $400 for lodging, um, super amazing place to stay. So I'd encourage you to check that out. And then Friday, I'm getting them coming into town just a little bit earlier, Okay. three o'clock silver dollar city. Oh yes. I know why you did this. Uh huh. Tell me why. Because after three is, if you go after three to silver dollar city, it's free the next day. That's right. So, yes. Yes. So, $68. Now, you got the, the discount, but I did in $68 for adults, $58 for kids. And so, yeah, after three, the next day is free. Silver Dollar City closes at six o'clock on Friday. I have you going for dinner to the Keter Center. You're going to need reservations for the Keter Center. Six o'clock, or actually have you 6.30 dinner time. And I'm guessing approximately $130 for the family. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, but and, a, a little bit on the price And side. you can actually go yeah. much more expensive than that. I was looking at the menu, and you can choose very expensive dishes, you know, $45, $50. Mm-hmm. But I was kind of in the $25, $30 range. That is my favorite restaurant in Branson. Mm, it's but great. But I kind of went the budget route. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, after dinner, you're going to go to the Six show. It's phenomenal. It's so good. And two adults, uh, adults are 37 each, kids $11 each. So you're going to have a great time at seeing six. It's acapella and one of my favorite shows in Branson for for sure. sure. All right. I was going to suggest Sight and Sound, but they're not open quite yet. Oh, okay. I mean, they are open. They, well, that the weekend I was targeting, they're not open. So they, I think they are, I think they've had a show already, but they're back on the 24th of March or something like that. So that's why I did that. Interesting. Okay. All right. So that's Friday. Okay. 
Saturday, you're going to have breakfast at 8.30 a.m. at Silver Dollar City at Molly's Mill. And I'm guessing, I couldn't find the pricing, I'm guessing about $60 for the family. $15 each, probably. Maybe even a little cheaper, maybe, for breakfast, you yeah. think? I don't know. Right it's in that area. Not, yeah, that's a good estimate, probably. Yeah. You're looking at me like I'm doing something wrong. No, I was just, in my mind, I'm thinking, I know, because we have a season pass that so we get 20% discount, but y'all might not have a season pass, but Molly's Mill... I was I was considering breakfast. working the season pass into this, but I didn't do that because I'm thinking, well, this is one weekend, and we're doing the after three, next day th- is yeah, free thing. You guys consider a season pass, though, because if you pay for two full days, you've, you've paid mm-hmm. for the season pass, and then you get discounts to the showboat, and you get discounts to your dining at Silver Dollar City. Yeah, so definitely so. consider that. You and Yeah, you definitely could save a good amount of money doing it that way, but, but I didn't do it that way. All right, and then I have you at Silver Dollar City until 6 p.m., um, I threw in their drinks and souvenirs throughout the day. Oh. Like I put a hundred bucks. Okay. I think that's pretty fair, that's right? That's fair. Okay. I have you eating lunch at Lucky's, uh, silver, Mi- the Lucky Silver Mine Buffet, which is one of our favorite places to eat there at Silver Dollar City. You went the expensive route. I did. Yes, you did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> the, whole, the whole weekend you went the expensive route. Uh-huh. If he wins, I know why. It's because well, he, he, he's the spender. Well, in, yeah. In, and in all fairness, you have you do have to take the cost into consideration. So if, if mine is too expensive... <laughs> Then I can lose points. I get that. Okay. I, I do. I, but, I like it there, though. Yes. But, I, but I was thinking, what would I love to do? Okay. That's what I was okay. thinking. Fair. All right. And so I'm, I'm guessing about $100 for the family at, at, the, at the buffet there, you think? Yeah. Maybe a little less? I don't know. I think that's pretty good. It's, including tip, because you tip there. Yeah. Okay. And then at dinner, I have you on the showboat Branson Bell. Wow. <laughs> now, that is something that you could definitely save if you had a season pass. Oh, yeah. So. And and I and I actually I, I've actually booked you on the fireworks finale cruise. What this is? Oh, you cheat! And <laughs> it just happened to be available, so I'm like, why not? Let's okay. throw in the fireworks. Okay. How much is this one? Okay, so that one is fifty six dollars each for adults, and then twenty nine each for children. Hmm, that's not too much more than the regular. That is the regular price. Yeah, I don't think there's any extra price for the okay. fireworks. I you think just it's the get same. Some free fireworks. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And so that that's a big Saturday. That's a lot of fun. And then you go and you have a great night at the Chateau on the Lake. Okay. Right. Okay. Sunday morning comes. Right. Yes. Breakfast at Chateau on the Lake. Approximately sixty dollars there, right there at the hotel. Okay. Okay. Lunch, Sugar Leaf. Oh, come on now. We'll meet each other there, babe. We will meet each other eating there on Sunday. We're going to go with these guys that are watching. (laughs) Can we come with you all each other there? You guys will be there. So So sugar leaf for sure. Sunday lunch, about 60 bucks for the family. And then at 1 30 p.m. Escape code. Oh, yeah. Escape code. Okay. And I didn't give them any discounts. What was the discount code? Adventure. Adventure. Yeah, 15% off. 15% off. And uh, so you just type that in when you're booking online as a promo code. Yep. And so I've got you doing that. Any of our five rooms, doesn't matter. It's it's your choice. And then after escape code, of course, right next door, Axe axe throwing at the axe game. And I've got you doing it for an hour and it's $20 each. Yeah. Okay. Actually, you would get a coupon when you left Escape Oh, code. that's right. You would save 15%. You would save 15% because you'd have a, a coupon from Escape Even code. cheaper. Yeah. All right. And then for dinner, I've got you at Dolly Parton Stampede. Oh. Sunday. Okay. All right. And then that's it. That's your vacation. And then you go home. So we did some of the same things. Yeah, but not most. Not most. So, so do you want to guess You want to guess my total, well, Incl- including tips and tax and everything? I'm going to say 2300 Wow. That's pretty good. The actual total without tips and tax, tip and tax, I understand I had to kind of estimate some of it, but I came up with uh, uh, seven, uh, I'm sorry, 11, no, I can't read, 1776. That's without tip and tax? Yeah, and then I'm just guessing like probably 2200 tip and tax. So your your vacation was almost double the cost. Almost double, almost, almost double, the, double the, the fun. So, <laughs> <laughs> so y'all just take that into account. His vacation is almost twice as expensive. Now, is it double the fun? Would that make it worth it? I don't know. That's where they have to consider. So you guys, let us know in the comments below. Yes. We need to know this because this is a vacation battle and we're very competitive. We want to know who wins. Yeah. So let us know. Otherwise, we're just going to be sitting here wondering, huh, who Hmm. won? Who won? Who was it? Also, give us a thumbs up. I can't say that. Subscribe. 
And hit that bell. And you, yeah, and hit the bell. Hit the bell. Okay. That lets them know when the next video is coming. Yeah. But you know what? I had I had an idea. We could do additional vacation battles. We we put That's put true. certain boundaries, guidelines, focuses, different types of things it's that we true. could do. So we, you know, if you like this kind of video, let us know, and we could do some additional vacation battle videos. So, because this was a weekend battle, just a weekend. This is a we weekend battle. A, we could do a week long one, or sure. we could do a one day one, or yep. who knows what we could do. Things, you know, we could, lim- a, we could give us a price. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Limit it to a budget. Yeah, a five hundred dollar Branson vacation. Yeah, something or like something. That. So we would be happy. Or to do five thousand dollars. Kind of fun, and we like to compete. We do. If you haven't noticed. So anyway, I guess that's it. Safe travels, everyone. Well, you're done, how? Huh? That's it's it. It's I over. I think so. I think we're done. Now I'm just yeah, waiting to see who won.